Hi guys, Pepper Brown here once again, and here's another lesson of easy jazz guitar. Now we're going to take our real book, real book page. Here's our sixth edition real book. Go to page 348, The Saga of Harrison Crab Feathers. Okay, so E minor 7, C, C major 7, A minor 7, E minor 7, D minor 7, B flat major 7, G minor 7, D minor 7, A flat major 7, C minor 7, a flat major 7, F minor 7, C minor 7. All right, so all these chords, they're spread out really far, right? This chord goes for four bars. This chord goes for four bars. This chord goes for f four bars. See, these chords go for a long period of time, which means it's an easier song for you guys to learn. It's a cool sounding song, too. It has a great melody, and it has uh, some nice features of uh, like different scale changes. It's in 3-4. So you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So the melody's real easy. Here's the chords. It goes 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. D minor 7, B flat major 7, G minor 7, D minor 7, A flat major 7, two times. Minor seven, A flat major seven, F minor seven, C minor seven. Okay, so what am I doing for E minor seven? I'm going like this. So fingering is two, one, three, four, seventh fret. 5th string, 4th fret, 4th string, 7th uh, fret, 3rd string, and then 8th fret, 2nd string. C major 7, it's 3rd fret, 5th fret, and now on the 3rd string I'm doing the 3rd fret, and then the pinky's on the 5th fret on the 2nd string. minor 7, the jazz guitar standard, you bar <clears throat> these three, reach over your middle finger over to the top, there's your standard A flat, A minor 7 rather, A minor 9, E minor 7 again. Now for the D minor 7, we just take the E minor 7 and just go down two frets. Then B flat major 7. G minor 7, right here, third finger across the third fret, middle finger over the top. The D minor 7 up here. Now A flat major 7 here. And do it again right here. Now, I tell my guys to pencil in an A flat major 7 right there. Just so you don't forget that it's twice. So there's an A flat major seven right there. That's first finger on A flat, ring finger on the fifth fret, third uh, pinky on the fifth fret, and then middle finger on the fourth fret. Now so many guys when I say play A flat major seven, they go ahead and they play A flat major. Wrong, it's not A flat major seven. It's like this. Now the way a lot of people can think of it is, it's a C minor with an A flat bass note. Okay, so A flat major seven to C minor seven. I prefer C minor seven this way. And in practice we play C minor nine. Then A flat major seven down here. 
an F minor 7 down here. Now what's the picking hand? I'm hitting the bass note and I'm grabbing these three. Now some guys play without a pick like this. Can you see that okay? But you gotta use the pick because you're gonna solo any second now. The melody's really just right down here in these frets, so you're just gonna go B, no key signature, no sharps and flats, except right down here, you got an interesting section right here, timing-wise. So it goes B, D, A, G, B, E, A, G, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, D, E. And then here, Two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Second part. F natural. And then. Third part. So you're counting one, two, 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 one, two. Each one of those, here's two beats. This is two beats because it's tied. That's two beats, that's two beats, that's two beats because it's tied. You can actually go, you know, one, two, three, 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 and then back to the regular. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. to do is I like to do, you know play the up here oh. play an octave there and sustain the octave and then Octave here sounds good. Part. 
So that's basically how you play the melody with my little screw ups here and there. All right. So then the scales, E minor seven. We got a E Aeolian. It's a three chord of C major seven. So you can play that C for E Phrygian. But I'll let you just do a since it, since the chord goes for so long in the key of C, the E is the three chord and the A is the six chord. But here's the deal. When you're playing these jazz tunes that have chords that go for four bars in a row, each chord becomes its own tonal center. Rather than every oh well, that's a C major scale over that whole thing. Yeah, right on, wise ass, but each chord sustains itself for four bars. So each chord starts to have its own tonal gravity. So if you play off the E minor 7, instead of playing a C major scale, which it's in the key of, don't get me wrong, but each chord's going to have its own sound, tonal gravity. So you're going to play off each chord. So E minor 7. So E minor scale. Then to a C major 7. A minor 7. So you got a A minor scale. E minor 7. I like to do it like a blues kind of scale there. You can do a pentatonic scale. Over an E minor 7. D minor 7. I'll use a D Aeolian. And then B flat major seven, you can use a B flat major scale. But another trick is the B flat major seven. You can play a drop note pentatonic starting on the seven. So you're playing an A minor pentatonic shape over the B flat major seven chord. That's the McLaughlin trick. Larry Coriel spaces, John McLaughlin. A flat minor pentatonic will give you that spacey Larry Coriel slash spaces John McLaughlin sound that they did on that album. Then the G minor seven, that's the relative minor of the B flat major, so you could still play a B flat major scale over that. Uh, a uh, A minor pentatonic will work over the G minor seven, but it'll be the extensions. The nine, eleven, or one. Okay, that's thirteen. There's the eleven, right? Or just a G minor scale. And then the D minor 7, a D minor scale, or a D blues. Now, another thing to keep in mind is when you're playing a B flat major 7 here, if you play a B flat major 7 scale or a major scale, you go to a G minor scale, same thing. You play a G Dorian or a. Now the D minor 7. You could add more flavor by not going to a Dorian or Aeolian, but just go to a blues. It adds some more feel to this kind of music, okay? So B flat major scale, B flat major scale, ah, D blues scale, that'd be a good idea. I'll write that in, okay, then D blues scale, A flat major seven. Same thing, drop no pentatonic. Or A flat major scale. And then C minor 7, same scale. Not really the same scale, it's a C minor scale. Now you can play a C Dorian, but watch this. You play a C Dorian. You've got this A in the C Dorian scale, right? And a C minor 7 chord. You can play a A, but where does that A relate to the A flat major 7? So you play an A flat major 7. It's an A flat. If you play an A, here's an A flat major seven with an A on top. No good, huh? Okay, so 
you got to be careful when you're playing that C minor seven if you're going to use a Dorian mode where you put that A that it's far enough away from that like if you play it over here it's going to be okay this right here but if you play it close to the A flat major seven oh man that's going to sound terrible so you got to be careful where you play that A so here's a C minor seven a flat major seven. Now F minor seven. Dorian. Back to a C minor seven. Or C blues. Or up here. So we got E minor 7, C major 7, A minor 7, E minor 7. D minor 7. B flat major 7. G minor 7. A flat major 7. C minor 7. A flat major 7. F minor 7. Back to C minor 7. So in time, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So that's just, you know, just kind of a total screw-off solo. I mean, really, just sitting here without any band around me or anything, just no back and track, nothing. Just trying to show you guys what scales to use over each one of these chords. This song is always a favorite of all the guys in the jazz band all the time because the chords go by rather slowly. So you get a chance to play the scales without having to be, having to be all freaked out by too many chord changes in a row, and it's a good jazz tune. So Saga of Harrison Crab Feathers, page 348. Okay, so this is just one of the lessons that I have available online, obviously on my lesson program on my website. I want you to go to my website and you know hit subscribe to the lessons, online lessons. Uh, it's a pay system, of, of course, but you get one lesson a month, two lessons a month, three or four lessons a month, different pay uh, rates uh, for that. And you can also, for free, go to the forums on my website and talk about all the videos and all, the, all kinds of guitar-related stuff on the forums on my website. And my website's right here. You can see right here. I can point to it right here. Yeah. The text is right there. See the text? <laughs> right there. www. Right there www.pbguitarstudio.com. Go to my website, join the forums, sign up for lessons. Pepper Brown, over and out for now. Hope you like this one.